Welcome back, YouTubers. Want to go over a couple things uh, and show you a couple shoes that have actually sold for me well. Uh, you buy them for a couple dollars and sell them for a lot more. And a lot of people may walk right by these shoes. But I just want to show you some of the shoes that have worked for me, the brands. Uh, maybe you guys can start looking for something that will put a little bit extra money in your pocket. The, the first one we're going to start with, guys, is the uh, Men's 10 Medium Johnson & Murphy. A really, really great brand. And actually, it looks like I put the wrong color there because these were actually brown shoes, <laughs> as you can see. That was a typo. And I put black leather shoes, and they still sold for $39. Now, I think I paid a couple dollars for these. Um, I think I might have gotten these at a, uh, like a thrift store. A thrift store or a flea, not was it a flea market? No. It was a thrift mall. That's what it was. And as you see, they sold for $39.99. Now, typically what I do with my shoes is I put them in a plastic shipping bag, but then I just put them in a flat rated uh, envelope, a legal flat rated envelope, and ship them. So they ship for five bucks. So as you can see, a couple dollars can turn into a pretty good profit if you buy the right type of shoes. All right, guys, here's another pair that have worked real good for me. Now, Believe it or not, these were Banana Republic men's nine brown leather lace-up boots. I looked them up, and they were from, made from Italy. They were selling for $180 brand new. Now, let me tell you something. I went into a off-name, kind of like a no-name thrift store, and they had these on a clearance rack. Guess what I paid for them, guys? This is the truth. I paid $2 for these items. The $2 for these shoes. Uh, they were kind of big and bulky. And they were brown. Look pretty nice. Let me see if I can get in on them. Can you see them? Somewhere. Uh, not perfect. But look what they sold for, guys. $64.99 on a used pair of shoes. And I guess what you guys want to remember is you want to start familiarizing yourself with the brands that sell for a premium. You know, some brands will do a whole lot better than others. And so what I'm trying to do, just like I mentioned in the video, I go and educate myself on high-end brands by going to the different stores seeing what items they have and what they sell for and that'll give me an idea of what to look for so a two dollar investment guys turns into a 64 99 uh sale uh, i can do that all day now these were was not able to go into a legal flat rate envelope i think i had to send these in a regional box because of the size of them and but they sold for a pretty good profit all right here's another pair of uh, or brand of shoes that boy I can't say enough good things about it. and that is the Nike Air Jordan as it turns out these were the retro one high top white and red shoes and you know what I'm no Jordan expert but boy I sure want to become one because when you get a pair of Jordans look how much I listed these items for guys $149.99 I took a best offer of $125 now the interesting thing about it is I actually got these they were dusty I got them from an old country flea market oh my goodness guys I can't say enough about going to off uh, flea markets and when I say off I mean not that it, when it's real pretty it's not real polished it's just people out there doing what they do they, they bought storage units uh, they and they try to make money and they want to get rid of this stuff and so you know what I think if I remember correctly I think I may have paid five or ten bucks for these shoes but a five or ten dollar investment turns into a hundred and twenty five dollar sale. I'll take that all day, any day. And I want to mention something to you guys too. It's real, real important because as I'm looking over my sales for the last ninety days, I noticed that the items that sold for the most amount of money, guess what they were, guys? They were shoes. I mean, could that be a hint? Hint, hint. There are people who do nothing but sell used shoes on eBay and make a living and make a very comfortable living. So when you're at the thrift store next time, hey, check out the shoe rack. All right, here's another example, guys. Here's that brand again. Look at it, Air Jordans. These were youth. I mean, who would think that youth used tennis shoes that someone would pay $45.99? And that's the thing, guys. You got to just, just in tune yourself with what people are buying. I mean, people stand out in lines when, when Jordans are released and spend the night and camp out in tents just to get these tennis shoes and they pay a hundred hundred and fifty two hundred dollars for some tennis shoes or more can you believe that i mean it's unbelievable i saw this thing on on tv about these sneaker heads and how much these shoes go for they trade them back and forth 
hey, if you can find a used pair for a dollar or two like these, like I did, I cleaned them up. Look at them. They even got some strings hanging out, <laughs> but they still sold for $45.99. All right, guys, and last but not least, these were a pair of shoes that I actually own. Uh, they were some Nike Air Max. Um, believe it or not, I bought them, and they were, like, brand new. I found them at a flea market for $10. Dollars. These are $150 shoes. I wore them for a couple months and uh, kind of got tired of wearing them and decided I wanted to sell them. And a $10 investment after wearing them for three or four months, they actually sold for $41.99. So not bad, huh? That made me feel like I'm a, I have a foot of gold or something. <laughs> okay, that's a joke, guys. But that's what you want to do. Please make sure you look for these brands and other brands. Familiarize yourself with the, the shoes that sell. That can add some dollars to your bottom line. If you haven't already, guys, please subscribe, like, and share us with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching and make it a great day.